it's free talk live 603-283-6160 that's the call in line you can call in talk about whatever you want 603-283-6160 with you tonight it's aria and conan and i am about to mispronounce two different names so sorry in advance for that i do want to say however thank you to roderick gallatin and jenna talia who are the tonight's amplifiers this means they support the show enough to send us money to help us get on more radio stations and to reach a larger audience. The best way to do that by far is the AMP program. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. Any money that you send us there is used strictly to advertise, market, and promote. Free Talk Live, hence this name. Now, these are platinum-level amplifiers, which means they choose to give at least $25 per month to the AMP program. Of course, we don't ask that much. All it takes is $5 per month to get in. And it comes with a number of cool little perks like an AMP only call-in line. There's an AMP only Facebook group for those interested. I've become a pretty regular poster there given that Facebook is the only social media platform I'm allowed to use. I got to get with Mark to get back access to Free Talk Live's actual Facebook page because I resigned from it a year and a half ago following some posts I was making that Uh-oh. he didn't approve of. I mean, <laughs> they were very funny and they were the most activity the Free Talk Live page ever got. But they also generated some controversy. And then me being me, I followed that up with generating still more controversy. And eventually I was just like, Mark, it, it's not worth it. Knowing Mark, he would know that that's, that's good. People <laughs> love that stuff. People love that good drama. You got some good stuff on AMP this week too, by the way. Some good drama. You oh, yeah? Name? I I like I like reading Aria oh, comments. Yeah. Oh, I, I yeah. Think, with, I think I think you. Were, Johnson, the yeah, I would think I think the hypochondriac. I yeah. think you were hitting the nail on the head. Thank you. I, um, yeah. And it needed and it needed to be said. So thank you to Roderick and Jetta for that. Check it out. Amp.freetalklive.com. Yeah, I I, I tend to. Well, I obviously felt like it needed to be said because I said it. But, he was acting like a little, you know what, and a crybaby, yeah. and 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 uh, spreading mis- misinformation, in my opinion. How so? Well, I mean, uh, as the one of the commenters posted, I'm surprised it took him a whole damn year to get sick. How how does it even work? <laughs> it, I, or are these guys super immune that they can just, you know, fight off? Or is it? In contrast, let's let's take this the other way. Let's say Johnson is the one who got all of us sick. Absolutely. And what if he was? I don't even know that he was even sick. I think he just got a test. And and you know how I feel about the PCR test. Yeah. It's it's all false positives. I can tell you for a fact that I was for sure sick and I lost my sense of smell and taste. Mm-hmm. And here you are. Yes. Smoking away. Yes. I would have been <laughs> I would have been here, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if I, you know, had to be. But we had other people who could take care of it, and that left me, you know, free to do my other job. But we were talking to Lee about the COVID situation there in Michigan, where some people unwisely decided they were going to attempt to kidnap the governor. I I assume they are in jail. And by the way, can I just say that woman, if there are lizard people who are behind government and who are controlling everything, that woman's a lizard with a face, with a face mask. She is a weird looking person. She's got the beady little eyes and she's got the plump face and she's just, she's got a skin mask on. I'm serious. Lee, are you still with us? Yeah. What's, so, what's the name so, of your governor? Whitmer. Gretchen Whitmer. Whitmer. Yeah. So what so, else is going on in Michigan? Has it been lifted at all? Yeah, that's the thing. The, you know, a bit of background information. He essentially had been ruling by decree for most of a year. Back in March, she used an existing state emergency law to forego the legislature and was just randomly issuing laws herself. You know, it was ranging from mass shut down to businesses to even restricting movement within the state itself. You know, that's why people were so riled up about this. Yeah, uh, that's what I don't get about these states of emergencies in the first place. It's it's so obviously breaks the supposed system of checks and balances, which is already broken. It doesn't exist anyway because the the courts that are supposed to be checking the government are the government. For whatever pe- so, reason, but, people think that's not the case. Like I was talking with my attorney recently who kept referring to the government and the court as two separate entities. I was like, look, I understand why you're doing this, but what I need you to understand is that the court is the government. So yeah, there is so, no real check and balance there. We're asking the government to check the power of the government. 
the state Supreme Court eventually overruled her, ruled against her in September or October, I believe. But she then went and used the state health department to issue these ruling, you know, these laws rather than say it herself. So the same thing continued, but it was just the state health department randomly making laws. However, interestingly enough, she seems to have like dropped all the restrictions and since Biden took office and She's actually said that she doesn't, despite the new surge, suppose a new surge we're having here, hmm. she doesn't want to implement new lockdown measures because she's afraid they're unpopular and she doesn't want to lose the election next year. That makes perfect sense. So has she actually list, lifted restrictions there in Michigan? Yeah, for the most part. So really, that basically just tells me more than anything, she's interested in holding on to power, not about the public how for what's in our best interest or anything like that. It's her being able to maintain power. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, Lee. And thank you so much for the call. That That's all it seems to be about with all of these politicians. I mean, the lockdowns are unpopular, yes. But if it was truly about keeping people safe for public health or whatever, it wouldn't matter whether or not it was popular un or unpopular. It, it doesn't matter if it's popular to do the right thing. You should do the right thing anyway, even if it's immensely unpopular. These governors, they're just cowards. If they truly believe what they said about how these lockdown measures were the right thing, then they should have the courage to stand by that and say, look, I know it's unpopular. I know it's going to cost me the election, but I'm doing this for the greater good. The fact that they're too big of cowards to do that, number one suggestion, number one piece of evidence that they're just cowards who want power. I don't know how else to describe them. Tenth Amendment. And Sununu also... It's called, it's called revolt. It's called rebellion. It's called revolution. It's time. You people, pull your heads out of your, out of your masks, out of your sand, out of your sand piles, out of your masks, and, uh, and say no. I mean, we all want life to go back to normal, or at least most of us do. We were talking earlier about Anthony Fauci saying that, you know, vaccinated people will still need to not eat indoors and avoid crowds. Some viewers and social media users took Fauci's advice. Why? And said they plan to avoid indoor dining, but exasperated critics are fuming that Fauci is prolonging shutdown measures. Some fear he may be discouraging people from getting their shots because it doesn't sound like life will return to normal if they do. Well, he wants them to take his shot. There's certain shots he doesn't want. He doesn't want you taking a Johnson & Johnson. Wasn't there recently a news art, a news reporter or a journalist or talking head somewhere who specifically stated that we have to incentivize people to get the vaccine they by got, we, allowing them to reopen? We have to. It's the carrot. We want them to get the shot so they can go back to go back to their normal lives. That's the carrot. I'm gonna find that. It's a good clip. I'm gonna find it. Six zero three two eight three six one six zero. This is Free Talk Live. <laughs> 